You know, as the baseball season, the Major League Baseball season, winds down the next few weeks, to say it's been an, a change for a lot of teams and not been a good year and for some has been a great year, that would be an understatement. You know, for the defending champion, San Francisco Giants, for the second time in two years, you know, or in three years, actually, for the second time since 2011, they're not going to be able to defend their championship. You see, they won a championship in 2010, and, of course, def of course, they, and, you know, in 2010, but unfortunately, when 2011 came around, they weren't able to defend it the way they wanted. I think they made the playoffs, I'm not sure, but they couldn't fully go all the way. Last year, they got to the playoffs, and they, took, and they won it all. They got to the playoffs, they won it all. They became champions for the second time in three years. So for the second time in three years, or in two years, or whatever you want to call it, second time in less than three years, they're not going to make the playoffs. And to say it's been an up-and-down year for them would be an understatement. I mean, they've had constant injuries to some of their top stars, you know, so it hasn't really helped them much. But it's not just them either. It's teams like the Astros and teams like Houston and, you know, several others out there that, you know, have had have been struggling as of late. Some are close to getting into the playoffs by wild card or by playoff, by one game playoff, or by getting into a one game playoff. And some are like, okay, you know, we just got to wrap up this season on a high note. And I think, honestly, what it is, when it, when it, comes, to, when it comes to this uh, situation, my opinion is I think it's the new scheduling. It is. And it's just my opinion on it. But when you look at the schedule this year, it's like they had interleague games more. I mean, yeah, they had interleague games more often than not. All due to the fact that the Astros got moved over to the American League. Now, I'm not blaming Houston or anything. I'm not blaming them or anything. But this was done to even out both leagues. But by doing so, you basically... Not only went into like, but basically what you did was you caused a lot of the scheduling to kind of go into flux because there were some National League teams that are used to having their pitcher as the um, that are used to having their pitcher in the batting lineup that all of a sudden they have to change to having the pitcher on the bench, which is a good thing, but also having to bring in an extra player as the DH, which again is a good thing. But then you have the American League, who has to basically um, integrate their pitcher into the batting lineup uh, when they go to a National League park. The thing is, even though they have, they were, even though a lot of teams were used to this with the interleague play of the past few years or the past few seasons, uh, this one, this year, this season has been different because. Basically, they have to, you know, because basically they've had more interleague matches and more interleague games and series than they've had before. And basically, they've had to switch in, on, switch in and out on who was going to be batting. Basically, it was just... It was basically, to me, the constant change of pace when it came to the scheduling. Because sometimes, like, let's take, the, let's take the Giants, for example. They are basically on the last tour of the East Coast right now, and what a way from the, for them to go out. They're basically playing the Mets, who they beat yesterday and lost to today. And then after tomorrow, after playing the Mets, they go across New York from Flushing, to the Bronx to play the Yankees. Yeah. They go from Flushing, New York to the Bronx. 
Bronx, New York, to play the Yankees, a rivalry that a lot of people have been wanting to see renewed for quite some time due to the, both teams' historical history. Now, you might say, well, that's no problem. The travel won't be so bad. No, the travel won't be bad. It's more along the lines of, right now, they're, they're used to having the pitchers in the batting lineup, right? They're not, they don't have no designated hitter or anything, unless they put in a pitch hitter. But then, all of a sudden, after tomorrow, after the, after the, uh, basically after tomorrow, when they're done with the mitts, when they're done with the series with the mitts, they go from the traditional National League uh, way of ba National League National Le National League way of baseball to the American League way of baseball. Basically, within 24 hours, they have to switch things around to where whoever's pitching for them has to sit down on the bench until he pitches. That's right, until like the bottom of each inning, the, the pitcher, who usually would be you know, coming up to bat, has to sit into the bottom of each inning. In other words, they cannot bat. They cannot come up to bat or hit. Now, like I said, that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It helps them rest more. But it's like, it's this kind of changing of scheduling that I think has hurt a lot of teams. You know, it's, it's a change. It's a, it's a major change. I mean, yes, they're used to the interleague games, the aims that they've had. But it's mostly because of the fact that but mostly because now both leagues are evened out, that things have really changed, and it's you know it's a little hard for a lot of teams, even in, even including even including the defending champions, you know, the defending World Series champions. It's hard for them because they basically got to switch around. I mean, here's one of the big differences. Here's one of the big changes that happened this year. Here's one of the big changes. If you're in a rivalry, an interstate rivalry or whatever, something like an interstate rivalry, basically, here's the big change. Instead of like the previous years where you'd play about three or four games at one park and then wait a few weeks or a month and then play the next four or three to four games in the other park, you've basically got to finish off the entire series in one go. Yeah. In other words, teams like rivalries like, you know, interleague rivalries like the Royals and the Cardinals, the Giants and the A's, you know, the Yankees and the Mets, you know, the Angels and the Dodgers, you know, basically they've had to switch up to where they would play in one, bar, one ballpark for two games and then they would play in another ballpark for the next two. For example, the Yankees and the Mets. Yankees would have to play two games against the Mets in City Field, and then the Mets would have to finish off the series. And the Mets would have to finish off. The Mets would have to finish off the series, you know, at Yankee Stadium for the next two games. Same with St. Louis and Kansas City. St. Louis would have to go to Kauffman Stadium for the first two. The Royals would. Kansas City would have to go to Bush Stadium for the next two, and so on and so forth. And again, it's this change that I believe, not just the injuries and you know all that that have plagued not just the Giants but a lot of some other teams, but also mainly it's the change of schedule that's hurting them because they're not used to constantly having to have interleague games all the time, and they're not used to having to go like from one ball pot. They're not used to having to play a series, a four-game series, series in two different ballparks. They're not used to doing that unless it's the playoffs and mostly the World Series. But that's about it. They're not used to that, and then they're not used to constantly having to go back on the road after a day or so off. Well, they're used to it, but sometimes they're not used to it as much as they were. I mean, some teams like San Francisco would end up playing, let's say, in Toronto 
for two games, and then having to fly down to Colorado, it's like, you know, for the next game the next night. And it's like, whoever came up with these schedulings for some of these teams, for a lot of these teams, doesn't know what they're doing because it's not helping the, it's not helping some of these teams because they're not getting a chance to have a full day or so to rest and get their composure, get their thoughts together, get the you know pro, get the thoughts and everything together. You know, so to me, so to me, this past season, as it's winding down, has been a major change in Major League Baseball for a lot of the MLB teams. Hopefully next year will be better for a lot of them because at least they'll finally have a year to because at least they have had because at least they would have had a year to get adjusted to the new way of the new way of things with the scheduling and stuff like that. And if I'm any major league baseball team, whether I'm the Giants, the Astros, the A's, the Royals, the Yankees, the Blue Jays, whatever. If I'm them, and I want to seriously be in contention for that ring, for that World Series ring and that trophy, then I alternate my players. I basically, if I know I'm going to be, if I know my schedule upcoming is going to be one that might wear me out or might tire me out or something like that, or tire my, might wear my team out or tire them out, I rotate, I alternate by bringing up some of my top prospects from my AAA club. So at least, at least my star players, the ones I depend on the most, can rest a day. You know, I start considering doing that. Or at least starting to play guys that I only bring in every now and then. Well, you get the idea. But to me, the 2013 Major League Baseball season has been one of change for a lot of the MLB teams. Hopefully the 2014 season... For a lot of the teams, will be a better year and a better season because at least they would have had one year and one season to adjust to the new scheduling and the new way things are being done. So that's all I have to say about it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. I'll talk to you all later.